Hey there folks! If you're like me and you go kayak fishing or ice fishing and you use a fish finder while you're out on the ice or out in your kayak, then you need some sort of power system to power your fish finder. Now this is my Hummingbird Helix 5. You'll, if you've seen any of my past videos then you know that I'm heavily dependent upon this unit. I really enjoy using the Hummingbird Helix 5. I found it to be a very reliable and durable product that performs flawlessly while I'm out on the water and on the ice. Now, there's a specific slot in the back here that accepts a battery in this shuttle. And then my kayak, I simply just put it in a dry storage box. But it does limit the size of battery that I can carry with me. And now there are two primary ways to power your fish finder out there. One is with a sealed lead acid battery. And you'll see this uh, battery here. This is a 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery and it has just the right size to fit in the shuttle of this ice fish finder unit here. However, if you do some shopping, you'll find that a lot of folks out there are upgrading to lithium powered batteries. Now this is the same size battery as the steel lead acid battery, but it has 10 amp hours, so it's got quite a bit more juice packed in there. Um, but at the same time, uh, it's quite a bit more expensive. So Sealed lead acid batteries, widely available. This one's about 25 bucks. This one here is about $100, $150, depending on the manufacturer and where you buy it. So it begs the question, is upgrading to lithium really worth it? And I'm gonna do a series of comparisons here uh, to help you make that decision while you're out there. And I'm also gonna let you know just how much runtime I'm getting with these different batteries uh, at room temperature and also at temperatures below freezing. So I'm going to do some comparisons here and see how they perform. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I did is I took each of these batteries, fully charged them on the charger recommended by the manufacturer to full charge, and then I plugged them into the fish finder at room temperature and then just ran it with a stopwatch running right there until the machine turned off. And what I got was pretty surprising. So with the sealed lead acid, I got 10 hours and 53 minute runtime on the sealed lead acid battery. Whereas with the lithium battery here, I got 26 hours and 53 minutes. So 16 hours longer on the money. That is quite a bit more battery and you might be wondering, well, that doesn't really make sense. If this is a seven amp hour battery, and this is a 10 amp hour battery, why did it get uh, way more than twice as much life out of it? Now I should say these are both brand new batteries. They've only been used um, less than five times prior to making this video. And you might be wondering why does the lithium perform so much better? And that has to do with how these batteries discharge. So a sealed lead acid battery, as uh, you discharge the battery, it slowly declines um, and eventually falls below that threshold at which it can power the electronics. Whereas the curve on a lithium battery, it tends to uh, discharge fully right up until the very end and then it drops off and that gives it a much more uh, productive lifespan on a single charge. So quite a bit of difference there uh, between these two. Okay, so next I wanted to test the performance of these two batteries in cold weather situations. This makes sense to test because a lot of anglers are gonna be using these batteries to power their fish finders while they're out on the ice. Also, I read widely that sealed lead acid batteries performance is decreased in cold weather, whereas lithium batteries are purported not to suffer from that same uh, situation. So I wanted to put that to the test and see if that were true. In order to do that, I charged each battery fully, and then I put it in this chest freezer that I'm sitting on right now for one full hour and then connected the cords down, the power cords down through into the chest freezer to the battery and ran it using the same stopwatch method that I did testing these batteries performance at room temperature and what I found surprised me. Uh, first of all, the, as expected, the sealed lead acid battery saw a reduction in performance. It ran for only 9 hours and 37 minutes 
That is a reduction time of 12% compared to room temperature. Now, surprisingly, the uh, lithium battery declined by 13%, so it dropped to 23 hours and 17 minutes. Um, so quite a bit of reduction in time. Um, and surprisingly, given that lithium batteries are purported to perform better in cold weather. So that being said, the two batteries lost just about the same amount of time proportionate to their total runtime at room temperature, with sealed lead acid losing 12, lithium losing 13. That being said, the lithium battery still ran uh, substantially longer overall than the sealed lead acid battery. So one of the things I wanted to compare was the fact that these two batteries are nearly identical in their dimensions, but there's quite a bit of difference in the weight of both of these batteries. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the sealed lead acid battery on the scale here, and it weighs about four and a half pounds. Whereas the lithium battery weighs just shy of three pounds. So it's about a pound and a half, a little bit or a little bit more lighter than the sealed lead acid battery, which you know may not make a difference when you're kayak fishing, but when you're having to haul your fish finder around by hand and shoveling it around on the ice can make quite a substantial difference uh, when you're carrying it. Okay, so thus far we've determined that the sealed lead acid batteries are about a quarter the cost of lithium batteries, so about 25 bucks versus 100. The lithium batteries are quite a bit lighter, about 40% lighter, so a lot easier to carry around. That may not be a big deal to everyone, but uh, that being said, the run times on these are quite a bit different. You're going to get more than double the run time out of the lithium batteries versus the sealed lead acid batteries. But you still might be wondering, well, if I'm only getting twice the runtime, or a little more than twice the runtime, but I'm paying four times more for the lithium, is it really worth it upgrading from sealed lead acid to lithium? And there's one thing that I can't test that the manufacturers claim, and if it's even remotely true, it will basically convince uh, you that it's probably worth upgrading to the lithium and that is the lifespan of these batteries is quite a bit different. So the sealed lead acid batteries are rated for about 400 total cycles. Um, that is charge depleted, charge depleted 400 times over before the battery is uh, officially dead. Whereas a lithium battery is reported to be able to do that up to 2000 times. So even if they're off by 50% of that, um, this is still quite a bit uh, more battery than you'll get with the sealed lead acid. Now that being aside, would I personally choose to upgrade to lithium? And the answer for me is yes. And that simply is because of logistics. Uh, if I can go out on multi-day trips and not have to worry about charging my battery uh, because I have a lithium power battery, that's going to make it a lot easier for me to plan my trip. I don't have to worry about pulling out the fish finder at the end of the day and charging the battery because I know I'm going to get 27 hours, 24 hours if it's really cold out, out of my lithium battery versus my steel lead acid battery, which is barely going to get me through one day at a time. I will put links to both of these batteries below as well as links to uh, these various videos related to my Helix 5 unit and using it out on the ice and on the water. If you have any questions about uh, these products or these batteries, just let me know in the comments below and be sure and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me out to know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm producing and it's helping you out. Otherwise, uh, I hope you have a good one. Get out there, catch lots of fish and make sure your fish finder doesn't go belly up on you because you run out of power. All right, take care, guys. See you later.